Hey everybody, it's just Mike um, from uh, my, my Night at the Movies with Mike. I uh, just thought I would uh, give everybody a little update since uh, I went to see um, a haunting in Venice last night about, um, you know, because uh, like after I saw that movie, it really had me think of these like... Uh, I was telling you all about how I like films, uh, like uh, whodunit films, and um, like you know, and I, I wish that there were a little bit more of them, more quality as well. And um, as you know, uh, like when I told you last night uh, when I saw a night or uh, a haunting in Venice, that uh, it left a lot to be desired to me. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a, like a recommendation that, of a, of a film that I thought was really well done, that doesn't get a lot of talk about, that I saw in theaters last year. Um, it was, uh, a movie called The Outfit. Uh, actually, uh, Matt and I, we, um, got together maybe like a week or so ago, or two weeks ago. I went over to his house and um, we we uh, we checked it out together, and I saw it. That was the second time I saw it, and um, actually, it was uh, it was a it was a film that I actually bought for uh, a client of mine, since she told me she uh, well, since she was interested in seeing uh, Death on the Nile, and uh, I told her that um, quite frankly, uh, like between the two of them, that I thought that uh, like I mean. To me, I quite personally really enjoyed uh, the outfit more. Uh, the outfit, uh, like it's, I mean, it has like really nobody in it except for uh, what's his name? Uh, he he won an Oscar for that uh, movie that Steven Spielberg did. Uh, what was it? Bridge of Spies, I think it was. Like best supporting actor. I forget his name. He's like the the most known person in the movie uh the director I've never uh, I've never really seen anything done by him either and uh everybody else in the movie was pretty much um they were either you know uh like tv actors or whatever but anyway what I really liked about it was uh that like I think it takes a lot of skill to do uh like basically like go uh, like one, like do a, do a whole film in one setting, and this movie basically takes place in a, in a setting in like one, in like ones. Um, what was it? it? It takes place in uh, in Chicago, like at a at a tailor at a ta at like you know where um, you know you know where like at, at a tailor place uh, where. Uh, the guy is a cutter from uh, England, and he immigrated over here from England, and he set up shop in, in uh, Chicago, and then he just basically started, uh, basically uh, like doing like a he like being uh, like a tailoring a bunch of uh, made guys, you know. Uh, jackets and outfits and coats uh because like and, and it takes place in like the i think the 50s so um like basically like you know like the al capone era and um so uh, uh it, it was it's just a really well done film of uh, like uh, a shooting happens and then all of a sudden like uh, then a murder mystery just ends up happening, and uh, it, it's all over like a uh, like an audio cassette that the, that the FBI put together, um, and uh, it's it's just a really well done movie. Like it's like on your like you, I mean the pacing and the tension is there. You're on your seat. You're at the edge of your seat the whole time. That I felt like. I mean even Matt. Uh, addressed it and thought that he uh, he felt like it was a really well done movie 
Uh, and quite frankly, I mean, if the director ever does anything else in the future, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I know that, I, I believe it, it was shot and it came out, or it, like it was finished production um, during uh, like the pandemic, so it t took a while for it to get released, and then when it did get released, it wasn't released, you know, widely. It was released uh, in select theaters, and it was a shame because it was like a movie like that really uh, just deserved a lot more love, and I think that with your help, that we could basically give it that kind of love and support, and now and like make it like a like a cult classic type movie, like you know like American Psycho or Fight Club or Donnie Darko or any of those cult classic movies that basically you know when they came out that they did not do well at the box office and they uh, made a that they, you know, made a resurgence uh, after the box office. But, and nowadays it's a little different because of streaming. So people aren't really buying physical media all that much anymore, which is a shame because I'm all for physical media. I enjoy physical media. Uh, as, you know, like, I mean, as I told you that uh, I, you know, went ahead and I bought this on physical media like for physical copy for um a client of mine um and i mean uh she we never really talked about it but uh i, I hope she enjoyed it quite i mean i really really enjoyed it i think it's a very good movie very underrated and uh it just goes back to i just think it i, I mean it just I, I just thought it was just real like a really great movie like you know like sort of like, uh, you know, um, 12 Angry Men, where, you know, they're all in one vicinity with one another, uh, the tension builds, and it just takes a lot of talent to do that, you know, like, sort of like Reservoir Dogs and all that other stuff, and whereas, you know, like, today, in a lot of movies, uh, we're taken from location to location to location, like, green screen, green screen, green screen, whereas, uh, this was just, I felt like it was a throwback to the way, you know, a lot of old classic movies um, were all about, like, back in the day. So, if you have a chance, uh, I would highly recommend checking it out. Uh, like, it's, uh, I know it's on Peacock right now on, on the, that streaming service. That's how uh, Matt and I watched it at his house the, the other night. So it is on Peacock, so if you want to check it out on streaming and just uh, let me know what you think about it. I mean, quite frankly, in my, my opinion, I think it's a four and a half out of five. That's what I give it. Uh, so I think it's a really, really great movie. Uh, it doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, in fact, like I think I've only seen like one or two reviews here on YouTube about it, possibly. But... Um, that's just what I think. I think it's a fantastic movie, and I think you won't be disappointed if you see it. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Sub, subscribe, uh, share. Uh, and right now I'm on my way to go uh, show a house. Um, that's what I do for a living. So uh, if you know of anybody that's looking to buy or sell in Maryland or Pennsylvania, uh, just like... I'll leave my business information in the details and you can email me and we can set something up. So that's what I got going. Uh, thanks for being a patron. And if you want to join the Patreon, uh, I believe that's in my description as well. So, um, and uh, I will start, you know, doing a little bit like, like a more exclusive stuff for the Patreons uh, in, in there and maybe uh, we can do like a, you know, a, a live um, viewing one day over Discord or, you know, um, or whatever. But, uh, hey, I mean, um, I thank you for all the I thank you for the uh, like all the support on the channel so far. I look forward to doing these videos like every day. Um, it makes my day go by faster and 
I really enjoy doing these and discussing film and giving my uh, insight on a lot of these things. So anyway, if you get a chance, check out the outfit. I think you won't be disappointed. And that's what I got. Uh, thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.